welcome to Gardener's Cottage here in the heart of Blakeney. Very windy morning but beautiful clear blue skies here. Let's take you inside the cottage and give you a little guided tour of what we offer here for up to 14 guests staying with us here in the heart of Blakeney. Entrance hall has the stairways going up to the first floor, corridor leading into the rear of the house. I'll go down there in a minute, just closing the door behind me. To my left, as you uh, come in through the front door, you're greeted by what we refer to as the snug. It's now fitted out with a couple of really comfy sofas and a large TV mounted over the log burner with a great selection of family favourite DVDs. So if there's nothing actually on the box that you want to watch, and you can log in if you bring your Netflix and Amazon logins to uh, all the streamed services, we've got a good selection of DVDs for you. This room overlooks the garden, which is the real feature of Gardener's Cottage here. We've extended the patio area last year to give plenty of area out there for sun lounges and al fresco dining. And behind that is a lawned area, all fully enclosed for dogs and children. A uh, real barbecue there for you to use while you're here as well. Let's take you through into the main room here at Gardener's, which is this beautiful sun-filled, large entertaining kitchen. A little seating area just to my uh, left. Large island work area with the sink and dishwasher fitted, the four oven electric arger, and uh, the Smeg fridge freezer for you there to use as well. Seating on this massive plank topped Victorian farmhouse table for up to 14 guests and then a seating area beyond that. In that cupboard is a further TV and DVD player. We've given you a lovely selection of blue and white china, some vintage and antiques pieces to uh, use while you're here. That's the secondary fridge that we've put in over the course of the winter. It's got a massive American style fridge on the top and freezer compartments on the, uh, the base, giving guests in large parties ample fridge space between the two fridges provided. Uh, if you are self-catering and having food deliveries, which a lot of people do, it takes the pressure off having to squeeze everything in. Lovely blue and white china, which is the theme here at Blakeney. And this room is the real heart and entertaining centre of the house giving guests ample space to entertain their family and guests visiting them. On the rear wall, we've got storage cupboards, larders and uh, housekeeper's cupboards. And then a little area with the toaster and bread bin for you to use. Dishwasher is located in the centre of console in the uh, island unit with twin butler's sinks uh, above that. To the rear of the property is a small courtyard area in addition to the garden that we've shown you through the uh, other window. Still coming out this time of year, but in a little while this is going to be filled with uh, wisteria and rose blossom. And uh, the French windows there open into the downstairs bedroom that we're going to show you just now. But a subsequent little patio area, which is lovely in the evening time. The sun comes right the way around this property and uh, sets over the wall behind that patio area, giving you a lovely shady but warm area. There's also outside lighting uh, available for you to use. Wine fridge, which can be used uh, if you bring a good selection of wine. Come back to where we started the tour almost. That's the front door where we came in. And if I just come down this corridor, we've got this downstairs bathroom. Just let me put the uh, fans and lights on. Panel bath with shower unit over it. It's not full shower unit, it's just for washing your hair really. And then a wash basin and a toilet on the wall with some uh, lovely mirror features and some, this is themed on seals really. You can see the courtyard area beyond. Just to the right of that is the first of the downstairs bedrooms. Pop the lights on. Again, king size bed. Bathroom just to the side of that for use by the guests using this. You've got access out into that courtyard area in the mornings, which is lovely. In high summer, it's lovely to be able to throw those windows open and just enjoy the outside air coming in. You've also got a seating area in the corner here. And again, in this little cupboard to the side is a TV. So again, the opportunity, if you want to watch a TV programme that the rest of the family or guests don't want to do or share with you, you've got the opportunity to do that. 
small wardrobe for use of guests here. Now, unusually off this bedroom, always get comments about this, we've got a utility room. I know, an ensuite utility room, but it's just the way the house lent itself design-wise. And this does give access to the rear courtyard through this uh, stable-like door. Washing machine and tumble dryer are located in here, and in the far corner is the electrical cupboard. You've also got a, a sink area here. It's ideal for additional storage of your luggage or uh, keeping uh, your pets bits and bobs in here. We don't encourage you to leave your pets unattended in the house. Please take them with you if you are going out for any length of time rather than leaving them on their own in a unfamiliar cottage. Got a linen cupboard here, loads of high chairs. I think we've got a total of five chair high chairs available in the cottage and uh, a boot store there with the ability to do your laundry. And there is a, a washing line in this little courtyard which can be pulled out and used if you choose to do so. Now I'm going to show you the other downstairs bedroom. This is my favourite downstairs one before poster bedroom with this beautiful oak carved four poster and headboard really nice room this east facing so it gets that beautiful morning sun as you can see streaming in here beautiful views of that flowering crab on the entrance to the cottage and you'll also get this banks lutei rose which is growing along the front of the cottage with uh, cascades of those powdery yellow flowers any time now and then in june and late may this uh upright rose here which I think from memory is is it Winston Churchill no William Shakespeare this one a beautiful quartered old-fashioned rose absolutely beautiful so you'll be sleeping in a four poster bed overlooking a rose strewn view of the Blakeney cottages beyond also got a lovely period piece of furniture here and another TV with seating area as required and just behind me off this bedroom is an ensuite shower and bath with low level toilet, wash basin, nice large corner shower unit and the most gorgeous footed cast iron bath with a shower attachment above it. This one's on a Peter Scott theme with the uh, old prints and pictures of ducks and geese in this room boarding up to about uh, three foot all around it to bring some character in. Again, east facing with courtesy blinds, but what beautiful sunny views of that lovely crab apple and Blakeney beyond from this bedroom. So that's the downstairs. I'm gonna make my way back through the house and take you upstairs now. Here we are at the base of the stairs. Let's take you up and show you the landing and the three further bedrooms that we've got up here. I'm going to go to the right now into the main or master upstairs bedroom. It'll views out through onto the Blakeney High Street, greet you at the top of the landing. Now this is the main or largest of the bedrooms upstairs. It's got a single bed just as you enter to make it flexible for families. And then views down with just glimpses of the sea in the far distance. I don't think you're going to be able to make that out, but just... There is actually a long view of the Blakeney uh, Sea beyond the banks of Shingle. And there's the car park on the high street looking down again towards the coast. This bedroom is absolute delight, furnished with uh, French upholstered furniture and painted wooden boards and uh, an oak floor. It's really nice and has its own ensuite shower room. Let me go through and show you that it's tucked in just behind this door and again you've got bath low level basin toilet and a shower cubicle in the corner there's heated towel rails and underfloor heating in here for your comfort as well as opening velux windows for ventilation really nice little feature and really does make this bedroom one of the most uh, popular in the house. Let's go back along the corridor now. We've still got two additional bedrooms to show you up here, but before I do so, there's an additional bath with overhead shower coming off this corridor. And again, nice panel, painted woodwork, toilet, 
and wash basin in this uh, bathroom with a heated towel rail and again underfloor heating. I'm going to go through into the back which again is a great size family bar uh, bedroom here. This massive painted oak tall boy bed is absolutely fantastic to sleep in. It's got a really thick mattress and you're about four foot off the ground in it. Quite an unusual piece. Twin lamps either side. Again, views both ways, looking down towards the coast and Blakeney in the high street, twisting round there onto the car park. This bedroom's also got two additional single beds as well as the, uh, the big king size, making this a great one for families, particularly with young kids that may be a little nervous sleeping on their own in a strange property. First night they can stay in with mum and dad before going into their own bedrooms should you choose to do so. Again, lovely views over the garden, looking towards the south. And there's a fitted wardrobe behind that cupboard there giving you storage in this room. Back along the corridor towards the bathroom we've just shown you. And the final bedroom to show you up here is this little one. Again, with a single bed tucked in under the eaves. Views of the garden looking down onto the courtyard area below me. And a double bed making this suitable for three guests or a family with a young child. There are cots available. There's one permanently stationed here at Gardeners, but additional cots for people travelling with young families and children and babies can be booked through the Blakeney Cottage Company or of course you can bring your own. So that's Gardeners Cottage. I would give you a tour of the garden, but it's blowing a gale out there at the moment. Very sunny gale, be said, but I don't think the wind noise is going to permit me to uh, really show you around that. So I'm going to pop a link into the garden tours that we will do and have a good look around the outside spaces by watching one of those. Thanks for watching this tour of Gardener's Cottage here on the North Norfolk coast at Blakeney. Thanks and bye.